Do you want to camp for free in the National Forest or Bureau of Land Management? Today I'll show you how. There are plenty of camping opportunities in the Bureau of Land Management and the National Forest. One option is to camp in a campground, but most campgrounds are not free. There are many areas in BLM land and National Forest that are completely free. So the first question you might have is how do I find a site? There are a couple free resources on camping locations. The first one is an online resource called freecampsites.net. This website lists free and paid campgrounds and it's not exclusive to the Bureau of Land Management or the National Forest. But it is a good resource because it does include National Forest and Bureau of Land Management campsites. It also lists paid but inexpensive campsites. Campendium is another resource like freecampsites.net but this is an app on your phone. Campendium also gives you free and paid sites, but you can search for free campsites or you can sort by price. Some of the sites that you find on freecampsites.net or Campendium might be developed campgrounds. As of this recording, May of 2020, most developed campgrounds, including National Forest and Bureau of Land Management, are closed. Many dispersed campsites in National Forest and BLM land are open. Check with the National Forest or BLM offices or check their websites to find out which areas are open for you. Not all available National Forest or Bureau of Land Management campsites are available on freecampsites.net or Campendium. However, you can obtain maps from the Bureau of Land Management or from the National Forest from their offices and oftentimes online. Dispersed camping is often called boondocking or dry camping. Dispersed campsites have no amenities. There are no toilets, trash cans, there are no showers, there's no potable water, and no picnic tables. But often you can find a fire ring. All trash and waste must be packed out, and that includes human waste. Dispersed camping is great, if you have a self-contained vehicle, but it's not a requirement. But it's imperative that you remove all your waste, including human waste. There's nothing worse than finding a campsite with feces and toilet paper, and believe me, I've seen it. Dispersed campsites are located along secondary roads and may not be marked. You can locate popular locations by the telltale signs of disturbed flat areas. This indicates that the area has been used as a campsite before. The area may also have a homemade fire ring, possibly made out of rocks. If possible, use these areas in order to avoid creating disturbances in new areas. Visitors can camp just about anywhere in the National Forest unless it's specifically prohibited. Generally, camping is not allowed in day use areas, picnic areas, or trailheads, or any other areas that don't allow overnight camping. Hey, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button. There are limits to the amount of time that you can stay in a single dispersed campsite. Check with the National Forest or BLM offices or online to find out what the rules are for the area that you'd like to stay in. You can also check with the National Forest or BLM to find out what the road hazards or road conditions are. If you're camped near water, you're going to want to make sure that you're at least 100 feet away from that water source. Also, dispersed campsites must be outside the boundaries of developed campgrounds. Oftentimes, dispersed campsites are located on dirt and gravel roads. Before you bring your vehicle into an area, be sure and scout the area out to make sure that you can traverse the road in order to bring your car or RV into that area. Roads and bridges can be washed out from heavy rain. You can also check the road conditions with BLM and National Forest offices. Some areas require a campfire permit in order to have stoves, barbecues, campfires, or gas lanterns. Check out the website for the area that you're going into to find out if you'll need a campfire permit or if fires are even allowed. Because in some areas there are seasonal fire restrictions. So be sure to check before you go. It's best to bring your own water if possible, since potable water is not available in these areas. If water is available, it will need to be treated before use. Some areas may experience seasonal closures. 
Check the National Forest or BLM websites to find out about those closures. I know this seems complicated, but it's worth doing a little research to have a great adventure. If you're interested in how we disperse camp, check out this video. If you'd like to see what equipment we have for dispersed camping, check out this video.